A much needed big weekend ahead for bars and restaurants. They've, of course, been struggling for two years due to COVID, but they're gearing up for a one two punch the Super Bowl and Valentine's Day. Mark Hall has the story tonight. A quiet lunch crowd at Permani Brothers in Hershey, but things will be much different on Super Bowl Sunday. Yeah, I think things are a little looser. I think people are looking to come out for a good time. There's not a bad seat in the house. TV on every corner. Greg and his team are expecting a big rush before the game. We're staffing up for a huge day. Biggest takeout day of the year. People are ordering already, pre-ordering. You know, we're doing a Pretty uh, aggressive special, two eight-cut pizzas and 10 boneless or bone-in wings for $29.99, so 30 bucks. You could feed eight to 10 people easy. Early orders are appreciated, but they are ready for game day requests. If you order through the app, you can do curbside, pull right up to the curb, we'll bring it right to your car. You don't even have to get out of your car. You know, convenience right, right through your phone. The Chocolate Avenue Grill across the street will be closed Sunday, but will be open the next day, Valentine's Day and what could be the first normal Valentine's Day in two years. It is a big weekend. We're, we are definitely expecting a strong crowd. Um, we have a lot of reservations for Monday for Valentine's Day. As the COVID surge eases up, couples seem ready to rekindle their romantic traditions. We're at the levels that we were at um, back before we had the big Christmas um, surge, and so we're, we're we see that people are more comfortable coming out. Jessica says many will start the Valentine's celebration early. Generally, not everybody goes out on Valentine's Day itself, and especially being a Monday, they might celebrate it. It's better to celebrate it early than late, right? Then, then you're not on the naughty list. So we're hoping for a strong Friday and Saturday night as well. In Derry Township, Mark Hall, ABC 27 News.